This is the Predator XP unmanned aircraft system built by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. This is the system we're offering here in the Middle East, North Africa. The uh, U.S. Congress was just notified on February 6th of a pending sale to the United Arab Emirates. They have 30 days to approve that sale, at which time the sale will be finalized. The sale is the first of a Predator aircraft to any non-NATO country. So for the company, for the United States, it's a very important milestone. We've been working on this airplane for about three years. It's our newest aircraft. Um, it's based on a long history of Predator aircraft but it's been upgraded with all our latest technologies. It includes automatic takeoff and landing systems, triple redundant avionics. We just did a long endurance flight for the first time on the Predator XP in February of this year. Our goal was 35 hours. We exceeded 40 hours by a considerable amount. So it's a very long endurance aircraft, surveillance aircraft, designed for, the, for this part of the country where you have long areas of deserts we need a consistent, persistent monitoring capability. So the UAE, the Middle East, North Africa, there's a lot of interest in unmanned aircraft systems at this point. There has been for a number of years, but we've seen it grow exponentially over the last couple of years. The missions range from you know, border surveillance, maritime surveillance, critical infrastructure protection, all the way up to the you know, fully weapons systems that some countries are offering here in the region. This is a surveillance only aircraft system, 35 hours of endurance. So this system, we're working on additional capabilities for the region. One of them is the data link. It's a satellite uh, operated system beyond line of sight. Currently, KA band is a very high uh, priority. So that enables you to fly in the national airspace. That's a little, a few years out, but that's something we're working on as well. So we have our advanced cockpit ground station on display here as well at the IDEX show. The advanced cockpit is our newest system that we're designing for both U.S. and export. It incorporates the latest technologies of high definition screens. It has a 180 degree um, synthetic view for the pilot so he can see just as if he was in the airplane itself. He can look left, he can look right, he can look straight ahead. It's a big step up for what we've offered in the past. Um, it's the human machine interface has been greatly improved from what has been used for the last 20 years, which has been very reliable, has 3 million flight hours accumulated on it, but the pilot experience is greatly enhanced with this new station.